Episode one, not so mellow yellow. Our first theme is the Han decline. That after nearly 400 years, things were no longer quite so good for a once glorious dynasty. And the leader at the central court is arrested. In the novel, we're told that he's beheaded. Actually, in real history, it was far more gruesome. His limbs were tied to chariots and horses were encouraged to run in opposite directions. So he literally got ripped to shreds. I wouldn't recommend trying that yourself. Sports spot. Yeah, no, please don't do that at home. So who were the Yellow Turbans? Well, they began as a Taoist religious movement with a great deal of emphasis on miraculous healings. They believed that outward illness was a result of hidden wrong. So the way to be healed was to confess your sin. But in 184, disaster struck. The plot was uncovered and they were forced to rebel early. And so the battles began. Of course, there is one other significant figure that the uh, novel introduces in this chapter and gives some credit to, um, and that's Sao Sao. So it's it's entirely possible that this, you know, this childhood name is not, you know, is not actually uh, a real thing. It comes from a hostile source in the histories. So in the novel, having sworn the oath to each other, they get given some weapons. So this uh, there's this little blurb from the bio- his biography saying, left with only 10 or so elite cavalrymen, Chen An fought his last desperate battle with the Zhongnu. He certainly put up a remarkable fight. In his left hand, he wielded a long single-edged sword, seven chi long. In his right hand, he wielded a serpentine spear. The story of Chen An is uh, very likely a model for the image of Zhang Fei and Guan Yu in the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. 